Hey there, Judy Jamison the Psychic here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to connect with your spirit guides. And it's the equivalent of a recipe, a formula, or a spell, whatever floats your boat, whatever terminology that you want to use, um, using any random objects from your surroundings. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hang out and watch the video. Make sure you hang out to the very end because I have two freebies that I guarantee you're gonna wanna download. If you are totally intrigued by all things spiritual, intuitive, and psychic, and you wanna learn what your natural gifts are, how to develop them for personal empowerment, healing, and success in all areas of your life, you're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button that is right underneath this video, and I'm gonna give you a second to do that right now. So when I say connecting with your guides, the easy way, um, guides is also, you can just refer to that as spirit. Now, when I say spirit, you could put that in a big bubble of anything that is not of the physical form. Your angels, your guides, crossed over loved ones, ascended masters, all of that stuff. You also do not need, for this video lesson here, the secret I'm gonna share with you, you don't need to pay a psychic, right, to get information. You don't need to learn how to read cards. You don't need a pendulum or a crystal ball. You do not need to invest any money whatsoever into learning how to do this exercise. The only thing that you need to invest is your belief system and your time and commitment. All right, so let me give you the, the basic steps here and then I'll walk you through um, a real life personal example so you can see how it all ties together and flows and works. So the first thing that you need to do is believe, okay? Anytime you are doing any kind of intuitive or psychic work, if you think it's a bunch of baloney, bunch of BS, you don't really buy into it a whole lot, guess what you did? You shut the doors and blocked spirit from coming in because you think it's a bunch of BS. So you really generally, you don't necessarily have to believe so much that you can do it, but you do have to believe that it exists. Anytime you are working with connecting with your guides or connecting with spirit, you have to look at it as the equivalent of a new relationship with someone. Now, when you first meet somebody, you do have to put effort in, right? If you're only talking to this person once a month, like, you expect a whole lot of freaking nothing to come out of the relationship. But the more you put into it, the more you communicate, the more you allow yourself to be open and available, the more you ask questions and create a dialogue, the more you expand and open. The second thing that you want to tune into is setting your intention or your why. Now, depending on how long you may have been following me, I always describe intuitive and psychic work if you can visualize various different doors. You know, like, um, what's that one game show, The Price is Right? It's like, what's behind door number one? What's behind door number two? When you're doing psychic and intuitive stuff, you have to figure out your why. Why are you doing what it is that you're doing? What do you want to know? and then determine one individual quote unquote door that you wanna go open up and see what is behind. So to give you a quick example here without getting off topic, some people want a, a love door, some people want a finance door, some people want a health door, some pe there's, just visualize the topic as a door. You have to decide what door your why are you doing what you're doing in order to, to open and get through there. The third thing that you need is your tools or your ingredients. Now, when I say tools, they are random objects that are around you. It doesn't matter if you're in your home or you're at the park or you're sitting in your car, random objects. Now, your ingredients, the emotion that you put into something. So think of it like when you go shopping and you buy somebody a gift, it's a random object, but you purchase that gift because it, the ingredient inside of it is heartfelt or it's something that would make that person happy. It has a sentimental value attached to it and I'm gonna explain more of that in a minute. And then the last step is really just opening up and allowing. That's where a lot of people screw up their intuitive and their psychic development. They try and one, they have this preconceived notion of this baloney that Hollywood sells you, which is all lies and crap, okay? Um, you, you think that this is gonna happen this way, or it's gonna happen in this time frame, or you try and dictate and control it. When you try and dictate, think of it, like I said, spirit a relationship with someone, something else. If you're trying to dictate and control when that person communicates with you, how they communicate with you, or anything like that, that relationship ain't gonna work out very good now, is it? So just be 
open and allow. So let me walk you through here how I used my Christmas tree uh, to connect with spirit and give me ideas or actually in my business the next five videos because I woke up and I'm like I'm dry. I got writer's block. I have no freaking idea what kind of videos to make. Judy, connect with spirit and ask them. Hello. Okay, so we already went over number one, believe. Whether or not you believe you could do it, believe that it is out there and it is possible. That's all you need. Two, setting your intention. So for me, like I said, I woke up and I'm like, damn, I haven't created any videos. Um, I need some ideas. Spirit, give me some ideas. Tell me what the next steps are. What can I use? What can I produce to help people? So that was my why, that was my intention. Next, I had to pick my tools and my ingredients. So the tools that I chose, and there is no right or wrong way to do to doing this, okay? It's the equivalent of, like I said, buying a gift for somebody. It has to have some kind of heartfelt, sentimental something tied to it. So for me, I'll show you the tools that I used. A music CD, relaxing music in the background. The why I chose this CD is the way I teach intuition and psychic development, you have to think of like Moses parting the sea. And parting the sea is the ego, it's all the baloney, it's all the worldly crap, it's everything that is going on around you. You have to part the sea to make that bridge for you to connect with your guides. So for me, music, it just pulls out all of life's baloney, right? You could use anything. I chose a music CD to help me bridge that gap. The other thing that I that I chose to use was a green candle. Now, obviously my why is business related. Business, you make money, prosperity. So I chose a green candle because green is the color of money. Now my intention when every single time you use an object that has to have an intention with it. So my intention here, when I lit this candle was, it's like flicking on the light switch or activating or tuning in or bringing to life or a, a burning de desire is ignited, right? You see the intention behind it. The next thing that I chose to have around me while I was working was this, this um, I'm trying to put it under, it's a globe, right? It's a, it's a, a globe of the world. And obviously what I'm doing here business-wise, I want to reach the world, right? The wonderful thing about the internet, you're not confined to just reaching your locals. It's the world wide web. And then the last and final tool that I used was a rose quartz. If you know anything about crystals, rose quartz represent the heart, matters of the heart. Everything I do and teach is from the heart to help people. Is that doesn't matter what object you pick. You can pick a stick out of the ground. You can use soil out of the ground. As long as you attach some kind of meaning to it that you're incorporating in what you're doing, it'll work. Now, the other thing that I chose here was my Christmas tree. Now, the reason I chose the tree, when I think of my guides, I think of them as big. I think of them as full of light. And when I look at the tree, I kind of thought every single individual light, every single individual little ornament is like shiny things. And shiny things to me represent ideas light bulbs, inspiration. A tree is something natural, though that's fake, but it, it, it grows, right? It creates life, it's abundance. You look up to this big, beautiful thing. I kind of chose the tree to visualize as my guide. So once I kind of got all my tools and my ingredients put together, I decided to sit on my carpet here facing the tree. And all I did now, if you suck at meditation, it's fine. All right. I'm, um, you don't really need to be a pro at meditation here. It's all about your intention. So if you're new to meditation or you suck at it, I'll walk you through exactly what I did when I had all these ingredients surrounding me. So what I like to do to, to bridge, you know, part the seas and create that bridge. When you breathe, breathing is huge. It's, it's funny. The littlest, tiniest things that seem insignificant are huge when it comes to your intuitive and psychic development. Breathing. So I sat down on the ground here, surrounded myself with all of my objects, right? My tools. And then I just did, I, I like to take in deep breaths and you have to allow yourself to use your mind's eye, your third eye, but kind of like with your eyes closed. It's like the equivalent of your imagination. So what I like to do is close my eyes. So this way you're not visually distracted by whatever objects are around you, whatever's going on. Big deep breath and visualize yourself opening up and expanding. I like to visualize all of my chakras are opening up. It's like a sponge that's getting wet, getting ready to absorb nice, clean, refreshing water, right? I don't know. I also like to visualize as I'm expanding, my chakras are opening, my aura is expanding, I'm opening up my energetic body 
to allow spirit to come through me like a clear conduit and channel. And as I'm blowing out my breath, I visualize the ego, the nonsense, the to-do list, the adulting, whatever it is that you got going on in your life. It's like blowing out the bullshit. And then I just simply ask a question. Dear guides, Please give me the ideas, the inspiration, the clues. Show me whatever it is that I need to create videos to help my followers. Ask a question. That's simple. And then just allow. Like you're having a conversation with somebody, allow it to come in. And that quick, I just said thank you, opened up my eyes, looked at my, my tree. Bam, bam. I can only do snap with one finger. Bam, 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 bam. I had to get out my pen and start writing everything down because it just came in so freaking fast. Now you have to understand when you do this kind of work, when you connect with spirit, when you get to know your guides, it's like a marriage. It is a very unique personal relationship between you and somebody else. Okay. It's what works for me may not work for somebody else. It, it is a relationship and each relationship is different. So some of the things that you want to look for, pay attention to your body signals, any sensations. If you get hot, you get cold, you get tinglies, you sneeze, anything like that. Pay attention to random thoughts, random words. It's going to sound like you're talking to yourself, like your own Pay attention to any emotions that come over you. That's how spirit communicates with you. And then just jot the stuff down. If you don't get anything at that moment, just kind of be aware and still be open. Don't shut the door like, damn, nothing freaking happened. Then you just went, er, stop, bullshit. You shut the door, you locked it, threw away the freaking key, left your guide out there like, this girl don't give two shits. She ain't serious, she ain't ready. I'm gonna let her get annoyed and stressed out. Just be open to things that come in to your life or your experience during your day. You may not get your answers at that second, that moment. You may get them later on that night or the next morning. Remember, it's the equivalent of relationship. You reached out and dialed to somebody. Just because they didn't text you back in five seconds or it took them 24 hours to get back to you, doesn't mean they don't want anything to do with you. Maybe they got other things going on on the other side. So there you go, how easy was that? If it's something that you would like to try and you think it's easy enough, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up video, uh, the thumbs up button. So let me do a quick recap here for you. One, believe. Even if you don't think you can do it, believe it is out there and it exists that you can have it, that it is possible. That's good enough. Two, set your intentions, your why. Remember the doors. What door is it that you wanna go behind and why? Three, your tools and your ingredients. Your tools are the random objects. You can have as many or as little um, as you like. The ingredients is the heartfelt emotion that you assign to that specific tool. So to me, remember the green candle represented money. The second I um, lit the candle was the activation. Ask your question, open and allow, right? Don't get forceful, don't try and control it, don't try and dictate it. Again, you thought that was easy enough, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button and share the video. Don't forget to comment below and talk to me. All right, so to wrap this thing up, I told you hang out to the end and I have a freebie for you. I actually have two. One of them is if you're really into cards, card reading is the fastest did I stress? Fastest way to help you open up your psychic abilities. I have a freebie on card spreads for a badass life. Card spreads are a wonderful way. If you don't know how to read cards, I kind of already laid out the doors for you. All you got to do is shuffle the cards and follow the spread. The other thing that I got for you, the second freebie is 30 different ways, 30 different additional things that you can do to open yourself up and activate your natural intuitive and psychic gifts. So make sure you check out those two links that are below this video here. I hope you have a wonderful, phenomenal, kick freaking ass day. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button, comment, check out the freebies below. Let's make this an interactive dialogue and hopefully I will see you right here next week on this channel. I'll see you later.